Hey, what's up everybody? What you just saw right here is the Cool Cam 3 Ultra. Right here. It's not a working model yet. Uh, but this is one of the brand new camera Kenda got introduced this year in CES yeah. 2023. And here with me we have Dan right here from Kenda, CTO Kenda. Uh, Dan, let's let me give us a tour of your space. Okay. What are you looking at right now? Okay. Hi everyone, I'm Dan here. It, I'm very glad to be back here. And um, this is our booth. Um, as you can see, we have a uh, Oscan Pro here. This is our professional live VR camera. Um, we have a Freeview 610 here. So we think of it as a low budget volumetric or Freeview capturing system. And then we, of course, we bring our Kuken 3. This is a working sample. And we'll have Kuken 3 Ultra. We'll announce the, the development of it, of course. Um, we have also our uh, meeting, meeting light camera, conferencing camera. So maybe later we will show you around. Nice. Okay, let's talk about the camera that everybody really care about this year is the okay. new Kuken 3. So tell me a little bit about this the first one first. When is it going to release? The price point, the spec? Uh, I think we are aiming to release it in April, March or April, uh, around that time, because there is Chinese New Year. After Chinese New Year, we hope that we can go into mass production of this one. Okay. Yeah. And um, basically, the this is a 5.7K 30 frame per second camera. Mm -hmm. uh, but I would like to mention, I would like to mention about the lens. Yeah. We actually spend. A lot of effort on the lenses. Oh, it's an offset lens, huh? It's yeah, it's an offset lenses. So, so compared to the camera, so you guys see, it's an offset lens. You see right there, just like a GoPro Max, a lot like Mobile Max actually. Uh, the reason that it is offset lenses is that we want the aperture to be as large as possible. Okay. So it is actually as f one point six aperture. Yeah. So the brightest uh, VR camera lenses, we think. So when you compare with the 1.1 over 1.5 inch sensor inside, actually the low light performance is very, I think very, very similar. 98% uh, the same as those one inches model. So model. yeah, so this is, I think the key selling point of this one is the low light performance. Low light performance. And, uh, so coming from the lens and the uh, one one over one point five inches sensor. So so it's not a one inch sensor, but you think the performance will be, if not better, the same as other one inch yeah. product out there. Yeah, yeah. So tell me, what is the idea? Why it designed so much like a GoPro Max? Uh, you know that the because the lens module is large, we cannot uh, make it back to back. So we kind of uh, need to offset the lenses. So um, in this configuration, I think the most obvious choice is we do not want the lens to be too long. Mm -hmm. In that case, it is not easy for people to use in action. Mm -hmm. So it becomes a square, square shape. Mm -hmm. And in that case, I, I think inevitably, because GoPro Max is also of, uh, offset lenses yeah. and looks like a square. Mm -hmm. So we do not, uh, I think, on the design side, you have, do not have many choice if you kind of want this kind of large lens. Yeah. How heavy is this camera? Is it uh, action camera? Yeah, yeah, we, we kind of aim it as action camera. Uh -huh. So it will be waterproof as well. Uh -huh. how, the, how, how thick the waterproof? Uh, 10 meter without, uh, without the cases. 10 meter? Yeah, 10 meter. But does the optic work though uh, underwater? Is the optic uh, yeah, 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 the optic work. work. Yes, we, we, we have to take, take, take that into consideration. Got yeah, it. and the battery is uh, interchangeable as well. Got it. Yeah, and the weight I think is around, I do not have exact number yet, something around 200 grand, something like that. How much? 200, 200 grand. Oh, 200 grand, okay. Yeah, 200 grand. Yeah. Tell me again why large aperture is so important in VR filmmaking. Uh, because we think that uh, in order for this kind of consumer level camera, mm -hmm it is very hard to get a very large sensor. But uh, in low light situation, uh, essentially, I, I think not, not necessary at night, even at, at, at dawn or uh, indoor, 
you will start to feel that the noise creep in if you use a smaller sensor uh, coupled with uh, lenses with small, smaller aperture. Mm -hmm. So we think that, that in order to in, uh, increase the low light performance is very important. It will kind of uh, open up more possibility. Mm -hmm. And actually in action, people want less motion blur, you know? So, yeah. so uh, faster aperture helps all in this situation. Yeah, okay, so we, we put a lot of effort in the light gathering capa capability of this one. Yeah, yeah. show the camera, so the, the sharpness. Is it movable? Oh, yeah, it's movable. Uh, we are still working on the firmware. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, hopefully we can kind of get into the market on mm -hmm. April. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can I hold this? Oh, uh, yeah, you, you can. So people will see it, it's a 260 camera. 5.7K, 30 frame. It's yeah. really light. I think it's actually lighter than a lot of camera I carry it around. Uh, tell me about the audio. Is it four channel ambisonic or? Oh yeah, it's four channel. Yeah, and I think we will do the ambisonic processing on the apps. In the apps? Uh, yeah, and we heard that a lot of people want to access to four channel raw audio. Then no. uh, uh, maybe we are considering uploading the uh, four channel in their original format as well. Yeah. yeah. And as you see, guys, the lens is actually really big. I'm not sure you yeah. compare with lens of other consumer camera. The lens is actually bigger, slightly bigger than most of the lens I saw, right here. Can you see it? You see it? Yep. Great. Okay. But then you have a different camera right here, side yeah. by side, right here. Side by side. Right here. This is the Kukan 3 Ultra. Yeah. What's yeah. different between this one and that one? Uh, this one, it basically goes up to 8K. And we throw everything we got into this one, <laughs> yeah. And um, actually, they share the same lenses. Uh huh. Same lenses. Yeah, same lenses. So very fast aperture, 1.6. Um. Uh. But I had to mention that the sensors is a bit smaller. It is one over 1.7. The reason for that is that it's the same sensor side with the Coolcam 8K, right? The yeah, yeah. One. The same sensor side with the Coolcam 8K. Okay. Why is the, that? The the reason with that is that we want to go up to 8K. But we cannot file sensor that something like one over one point five to provide large uh, uh, enough pixels for going up to eight K. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this one is with the quad bayer sensor. So the HDR we will have HDR. Uh, oh, have HDR in eight K. HDR in eight K, and it records in 8, ten bit as well. Ten bit. Okay, uh, so eight K ten bit HDR and thirty frame per second. Thirty frame per second. So it's the highest spec consumer. Oh, okay. How much is, is that? It's under thousand dollars, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Of course, we yeah. still kind of. I mean, I think we uh, maybe a bit larger, a, a bit higher than Kukan AK. Uh -huh. uh, we haven't decided on the price yet. Okay. Yeah, we are, we are still developing on this one. Uh -huh. We actually throw everything we have into this one. We, we know that a lot of people are waiting for the upgrade of uh, Kukan AK. Yes. Yeah. So we put everything in it. It will do in camera stitching. In, in cam camera stitching. In okay. camera stabilization. Basically, you can think of that you we have put a smartphone into it. In camera, everything. Okay. Yeah, in camera, everything. So one thing I want to point out: this camera is also the only camera when it released can do 5.7K in 60 frames per uh, second. 60 frames per second. Yeah. Tell me why this, this is possible, not this one. Uh, uh SOC processing power. Okay. Yeah. SOC. What does that mean? As of, uh, 16 or chip, the, the main chip of the camera. Uh -huh. So this one can process 8K 30 or 5.6K uh, 60. Yeah. Say again. It's 5.7K 60 frames per second. Mm -hmm. 10 uh, bit? 10 bit, yeah. 10, 10 bit. bit. 10 bit. Uh, do you have a rough number of the compressed ratio, like, like bit rate per second? Uh, I think it can go up to something like. Uh, 200 Mbps in H256, I think. H, H265, okay. But uh, 265, is that going to use regular SD card? Where's the SD card slot on this thing? Uh, yes, at the moment, the regular. product definition is you use SD card. Okay. So you you guys are looking forward to something like ProRes? Yeah, but not with this one, I think. <laughs> do, do you have HDMI output, live stream, like all these other features from the cooking cool Enterprise? Uh, it's not there? Not HDMI output. Yeah, but live streaming through USB-C, uh, we, we think so. Live streaming yeah. through USB-C, yes. Yeah. Okay, uh, and this waterproof? Yeah, it waterproof as well. Okay, same, yeah. same spec as this one. Uh, same spec as this one. So, last question I'm going to ask is, Kuken AK have a bad rep of sharpness 
of the lens, is this issue addressed in the new model? Yes. Well, it, actually, I have to say that the Kuken AK will already ad address the lenses problem. Uh -huh. But okay. after that, we encounter the shortage of IC problem. Uh -huh. The IC is kind of banned from production. Uh -huh. So we got pandemic. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, then we got pandemic. Then right. so. Uh, the, the, the lenses actually uh, we, after we fix it after we actually is some kind of production issue mm -hmm. so after we fix it we, we do not we cannot produce enough new cook and ak mm -hmm. so this is why people some people think that we kind of uh, leave the good lens for cook and ak enterprise but that is not the case well, i have to say yeah got it yeah okay so we stop yeah so uh, i think we covered enough about this camera if you got one more information we will continue like cover this camera when it actually official release. So tell yeah. me again, this got released on April. April, we, we're this aiming. Is, a, when is it going to uh, release? This, I think Q3, beginning of Q3. Q3, okay. Yeah. This year, this year Q3. This year, this year. And this yeah. one, the price will be four part. Uh, compared with other camera, I okay. think. I assume 400 something dollars. And this probably double the price. Okay, so now let's talk about a professional thing happening in Kukan. We will have our hands on the Cool Cam 3 soon to do an in-depth review. So don't forget to subscribe. Beside Cool Cam 3, Kentau also demo a 6 dot capturing system and affordable bullet time rate for professional level VR video capture. It's going to be good, giving the track record of Kentau on professional innovation. Talking about professional, we are also going to introduce a new cloud platform that utilizes Kendall Obsidian Pro to go live in AK in VR. We will cover the technical details on the recent VR livestream of NASA Artemis launch. This are all coming in our next CES 2023 VR experience. So hit that notification bell and I will see you in the next VR video. Ciao!